People in Puebla say that when VW sneezes, the city catches a cold. 15,000 residents work at the plant. Many more work for suppliers. Michael Röck Ramirez is a German engineer employed by the supplier Brose. He makes machine tools for Brose's local plant. We save on transport costs from Germany. We have a department just like this one in Germany, just a lot bigger. There's one in China too. You can say the local markets are covered by local departments. Workers here make car door systems for Volkswagen and other automakers on a piecework basis. Harald Röck has run the Puebla site for 13 years. It's based just around the corner from the VW plant, so components can be delivered swiftly. Okay, okay this is an order that's coming in, namely just in sequence. VW will make the car in about three hours' time, and these are the different types. The customer doesn't just make only blue cars, or manual or electric ones, the manufacturing varies greatly. The supplier delivers several times a day to ensure production at VW never stops. The Volkswagen site at Puebla is a small town in its own right, with its own streets, restaurants and various production plants. It's so big that visitors have to be driven around in special electric cars. Carla Masip gives tours of the plant, both in Spanish and German. I studied here at the German school in Puebla. And my father works here at Volkswagen, so I'm branded by Volkswagen. VW makes 2,250 cars a day at Puebla for export around the world. This is Puebla. The blue lines are the trains to the North American region. The red lines are the shipping routes to South America, to Brazil and Argentina and to the Caribbean, Australia, Japan and China. Four out of every ten cars made here go to the U.S., VW Mexico's most important customer. Puebla is Volkswagen's second biggest production site in the world. Some models, like the Jetta, are only made here. So was the new Beetle. The production line is state-of-the-art. Only a few tasks are carried out by hand, like the fitting of the door systems made by Brose. The location is attractive partly because of its proximity to the U.S., with benefits from free trade agreements, and partly because of low production costs. Mexican workers earn only between 3 and 5 euros an hour. VW built the Puebla site 30 years ago. Hundreds of suppliers have followed it here since then. There are around 1,000 German companies throughout Mexico, including in the automobile industry. But the high concentration in Puebla means the city stands out. Some people in Puebla are quite critical about the city's dependence on VW. Michael Röck Ramirez is too. I think it's a love-hate relationship. Sure, VW provides lots of impulses for development in Puebla, but people know they're dependent on this company. That's true for us too. We're here because VW is here. Roque Ramirez is married to a Colombian and speaks fluent Spanish. He's adapted to the local style of life, like most of his German colleagues. I'd say there were very few here at the beginning who didn't really fit in. People who didn't like the weather or the food or thought it was all too untidy and crowded here. But most of my colleagues, nearly all of them, appreciate what we have here. They use the possibilities they have and are more or less integrated. Röck Ramirez has seen quite a few automobile production sites, but he prefers Puebla 
For him, Mexican culture, the professional challenge, and the sunshine are an ideal combination.